Hello again, it's Paulina here, and today I will be answering to one frequently asked question that we have on the VJS. How to evenly distribute the workload of a resource in a certain period? So for this, let's go into Business Central. The standard allocation of workloads to a resource in Business Central and in the VJS runs in a way that the VJS will either show all the job planning lines allocated to the planning date, or if it's activated, then it will visualize the allocation according to the available resource capacities and will allocate all the capacities starting from the planning date until the quantity has been fully allocated. Through the first approach, we can see that these 32 hours are all allocated in one day. So that if I put my mouse on top, I can see that my capacity is eight, but my total load is 32. I can also see this with 16 hours, so eight hours of capacity, but 16 are loaded. Here is also the same case, 16, there are 32 and 32 on this case. Now, with the second approach, what we would see is that I would change in my configuration to calculate the job planning line duration. This will mean that when I reload, This means that now that I reloaded my data, I'm going to see this same information, 32 hours, but now separated into four days because my capacity limit was eight. Therefore, I have eight out of eight, eight out of eight, eight out of eight, and lastly, eight out of eight. In this case, because I had 16 hours, it's going to divide in two days. These are also two days. There I have four, and then in that case, also four days. So this follows the idea that as soon as the job planning line is assigned to a job planning date, a resource will put all the efforts into this and will immediately be dedicated to this job planning line. This is rather an inflexible approach that does not take into account the individual work pace of each resource. In this sense, what we're trying to do now is to define a planned end date on the job planning line date and then distribute the whole amount of hours evenly into the period that this resource has available. To work with this, you have to define a plan end date on the job line line page, or what we would recommend is to do it through the VJS. This sets a date by which the work on this job planning line should be finished. This means that with the planning date as a start and with the plan date as an end, the VJS can visualize a proportional usage over all available dates with capacity between the start and end date for this job planning line. Therefore, this should give you a more realistic approach to plan the intended workload over a certain amount of time and to leave it to the resource to fulfill the workload on its own pace. But now to evenly distribute a job planning line into more days, then what I can do is change that. I'm going to give a right click here and I'm going to select adjust plan end date. Now that the cursor changed, I'm going to prolong the line as much as I need. In this case, I added now two more days, which means that my 32 hours are now divided in six days, leaving this resource with 5.3 hours per day instead of the full eight. I can make the line as long as needed in order to allow the resource to have more time to complete this step. So let's say I'm going to start on Monday and instead I'm going to allow this resource to have two weeks. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to prolong the line again. Because I had something else already scheduled, then I'm going to select it and I'm going to postpone it. So now I can see that my 32 hours are in two weeks this Monday. There we go, one extra, and now I'm gonna select this one and postpone it to the week after. So now my 32 hours are allocated in two weeks, leaving with 3.2 hours per day for this specific task. If the same was to happen with the other job planning line that I, I had under, then I'm gonna select it. I'm going to leave it where it was intended to start, and I'm gonna change the period. There we go. Now that I prolong this task to be 16 hours, but in five days, then I can accomplish both in the same period and still have and still have one hour and a half left. 
To summarize how to evenly distribute the workload of a resource in a certain period, we have to first right-click on the job planning line and select Adjust Planned End Date. Then we drag the ending of the line until the desired date. And third, we have to save this into Business Central. If you want to learn more on the BJS, you can contact us at sales at visit our blog, or check our YouTube channel.